Hey everyone, welcome back to TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX. I'm in Sadek. With me again is Blank Tester. Hey, I'm still working out how to introduce myself in these. Yeah, so we've gone through the medium levels and now we're at another MTV competition. This is the Vert competition. This is Aces High. Yeah. So, once again, three runs of a minute each. They take your two best runs and, you know, add up the points you get graded on the scale. And honestly, the idea for this level is pretty cool. You're like, it says high above the Vegas Strip. Imagine if they built, like, a oh BMX park on top of the Sears Tower or some shit. Like, Sears or, Towers the C- or the Space Needle. I know neither is in Vegas. I'm just looking for, you know, moon, relevant buildings. What does that say? Moon Clout something? Moon Glow, maybe? Moon Glow but, is probably what it was. Yeah, so on the kind of inner circle, there's, uh, you know, some ramps, some rails, but around the outside, there's this big circular half pipe with different levels of elevation, and you can get extra points for jumping between the levels. So, again, a really cool idea in theory, but in practice, because this game is TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX, if you get anywhere near one of the walls of the tiers, like you actually have a pretty high chance of crashing off the wall. Hmm. Uh, so I kind of like, you know, the, unlike in that street video, I'm not going to spend the first run just dicking around because I know I can do well in Heat 2 and 3. No, here you should actually be trying hmm. because you really, especially with the exponential score multiplier, if you fuck up early... You're, oh yeah, you know, it's harder to come back. Yeah, you're so just you basically done. have to try and play well at all opportunities. Um, yeah. So yeah, like I guess my advice is kind of like, you know, you can use the outside path some, but the inside path is actually pretty reliable, mm-hmm. and you should be able to get some good air by this point to do your special moves. I swear at some point I want to talk about uh, comboing in this game. I think next video will probably be the best time. Okay. Because, you know, it just kind of frustrates me how, like, the game thinks it's built on, you know, comboing and getting a bunch of points, but that's harder than it should be. Yeah. I will say, like you said, the concept for the level is actually really cool. Like, yeah. I think if a more competent game had this as its... As a level concept. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of, cool. like, Skate Heaven from Tony Hawk 2. Mm. You know, hovering high above the air, yeah. sort of somewhat unconnected areas. And that, like, that opening right of... there where you kind of you go down this ramp and you feel for a second like you're just going to fly off over, <laughs> yeah. over Vegas. Yeah. Though I'm thinking about the logistics of doing this in real life. And oh no, I it, mean... It, it's uh, sort of untenable, I think. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was actually thinking earlier, if I could have one superpower, it would be to have... How do I put this? To basically be like a character from the SSX games uh-huh. in like how th- their reality works. You know, like they can crash and fall a million feet and just get back up a second later, you know? Yeah. I mean, everyone talks about the crazy-ass uber tricks. Imagine, like, no broken bones or whatever. You know, you can tumble down a freaking rock face and no pain. You just get up a second later and ride on. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Uh, played well the first two heats so that I could ha- I could screw up in that third heat. Uh, I don't even really have, like, points goals you should be going for. Just, you know, do good. Try, try and balance risk with the game's unpredictability. Nice score you know? at the end there. Thanks. 14-7-0-1. Don't go for any jumps that you're not really sure of. Um, you know, because probably, you know, if you fall, it's probably like a big setback. Um, yeah. But, yeah. So, next up, because we got the key in that second tricking level, that warehouse bonus level, 
we got a key there, so now we've unlocked a third bonus level, or really, second bonus, because, you know, the TJ's Backyard was a mandatory tutorial, but, yeah, so another points bonus level, the underground, and we'll be going there before we head to the hard versions of the main environments, so, yeah, another one down. See you next time.